Oh yeah, baby, it's morning time. Welcome to the celebration, morning motivation. I am Deacon Ford, and we're here once again to give God our glory, our honor, our praise, for this is the day that the Lord has made, and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. It's morning time, baby, it's morning time. Let's get into this word and see what the word say. Okay, it's morning time, y'all. It is morning time. You see it, Sister Taylor, Brother Terrence. Good morning to you. Oh yeah, it's morning time. Good morning, good morning to you, each and every single one of y'all. God is great and He is worthy to be praised. It is morning time. Oh yeah. If y'all don't mind, y'all hit that share button. Let's get this message out to as many people as possible. Good morning to you, Brother Shane. Brother Mike, good morning to you, Big Mike. Okay. Alicia, good morning to you, baby. It is morning time. Mother Lewis, good morning to you. Okay. It's morning time. Listen, man, it's morning time. Welcome to the celebration, morning motivation. I am Deacon Ford, and we're here once again to give God our glory, honor, our praise. For this right here is the day that the Lord has made, and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. Even though we may not feel like rejoicing, even though it may take everything within us, and we, we, have to, we might have to dig down real deep to find something to rejoice for. We shall rejoice and be glad in it, man. I thank uh, God for each and every one of y'all lo logging on this morning, um, you know, for, for giving us the breath of life. You know, giving us the breath of life, allowing us to be here. You know, with everything that's going on in the world, we are blessed simply to be here, to be alive in this moment. And uh, God has given us a special opportunity to be able to tell people, to tell people about his word, to tell people about him. He is the comforter. He is the way, the truth, and the life. We need him more than ever right now in this dark time that we see ourselves in. This is what it is, man. Pointing people back to Christ. Pointing people to God. Letting them know that he, he is the way maker. He is the only one that will turn the crooked path straight. It is him and not we of ourselves. Good morning to each and every single one of y'all, man. Good morning to y'all. I love y'all. Man, trying to, you know, whew, it's like I said, it's rough times. Good morning to Good morning to my brother Steve, Rabbi Ford. Good morning to you. Good morning to you, my brother Taiwan. Good morning, good morning, good morning to each and every single one of y'all. Pastor Clark, good morning to you. Uh, mother Horton, good morning to each and every single one of y'all. We're still talking about humility. We're still talking about humility on our morning motivation. Uh, we in the book of Luke. We in the book of Luke, uh, chapter 15. And this morning we'll be looking at verses 17 through 20. Chapter 15, 7, 17 through 20. Um, shout out to those who are logging on. My brother John Buntage, good morning to you. Good morning to you, Mo. Good morning to you, Mother Lewis, once again. Let us pray. Father God, as we come to you right now, in the mighty name of your Son, Christ Jesus, Lord, we just thank you once again. Your grace and your mercy, it surpasses all understanding. You have provided us with the breath of life this morning. And so this morning, we, we choose we choose to celebrate this morning, despite what we're going through, despite what's going on all around us. We choose to celebrate the breath of life that you have provided us with, oh God. And as we come together in this fashion, our prayer is that you will provide us with wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the things that we read and that your Holy Spirit will guide us into all truth and revelation. This is our prayer in Jesus' name. We pray it. Amen, amen, and amen. So looking at the book of Luke, y'all, we're looking at Luke once again, chapter 15. This morning, we're looking at verses 17 through 20. The word reads, but when he came to himself, he said, how many of my father's hired, saved, hired servants have bread enough and to spread, and I perish of hunger? I will arise and go to my father. And I will say to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and before you, and I am no longer worthy to be called your son. Make me like one of your hired servants. And he arose and came to his father. And when his father 
was still, and when he was still a great way off, his father saw him, had compassion on him, ran and fell on his neck and kissed him. I'm going to read that one more time. But when he came to himself, he said, how many of my father's hired servants have bread enough to spare and I perish from hunger? I will arise and go to my father and I will say to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and before you. And I am no longer worthy to be called your son, but make me like one of your hired servants. And he rose and came to his father. But when he was still a great way off, his father saw him had compassion, ran and fell on his neck and kissed him. May God add a blessing to the reading, the hearer, but most importantly, the doer of his holy word. And so once again, we're still on, a, on the topic of uh, my allergies. Y'all y'all, y'all work with me for a second. We're still on the topic of humility. We're talking about humility. And right here, we're talking about the parable of the lost son or the prodigal son, as it's known um, throughout Throughout, throughout, throughout the church world is known as the prodigal son. And so this young man wanted his inheritance. And he took his inheritance and he went and he squandered it off. He took his inheritance and he went and he squandered it off. That means he wasted it. He, I mean, he took what was what, what was basically like blood money because he didn't receive you. In the, in the tradition, you wasn't supposed to receive your inheritance until the person passed away. But he asked for it early which was kind of in, an insult to his father. When he went to his father and asked him, can I have what's due to me right now? And he took it and he went away. That was an insult, but his father still gave it to him. That may sound familiar to some of us. Even though we get insulted, even though you know those situations do arise, we still, hold on one second, y'all. My apologies, I told you them allergies get me, man. But even though, you know, we, 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 we position ourselves to make these wrong decisions. And somebody, you know, loves us enough to say, hey, man, I understand what's going on and I'm going to support you, but I got to support you from far off. I understand what you got going on. I'm looking at you. I know you may not be making them, but I'm going I'm to I'm I'm let you know that I still love you and I'm still going to support you. So his father gave him. He knew that was a bad decision, but he just, he, he knew that maybe he had to go down this path so he could learn something so that he could grow. And he gave it to him and he took it and he went and he wasted it all. And so as he wait, went out and he wasted everything that, uh, that, that his father had gave him to him, he went out and he did that. He wasted it to the point that he was in the pig's pen about to eat pig food. He said, man, listen. Maybe I need to go back to my father, but I won't ask him to receive me as his son. What I'm going to do is ask him, can he hire me as a slave, as a servant? Because his servants, they, 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 they got more than enough. Even the servants got, they living better than I'm living right now. But the thing about it was, in order for him to even come up to this self-actualization, he realized, he realized he came to himself. In order for him to get to that point, he had to humble himself. He had to humble, he had to come to terms that he made a bad decision. He had to come to terms with that with, with the guilt and the shame that was associated with the decision that he made. He had to come to terms with that. And you know that he came to terms with it because he said in verse um in verse 18, he said, I will arise and go to my father, and I will say to him. Listen what he said. I will arise and I will go to my father and I will say to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and against you. Father, I have sinned against heaven and against you. 
He had came to terms with the decision that he made. He humbled himself. And because he humbled himself, he decided to go back to his father. And the word reads in verse 20, and he arose and came to his father but when he was still a great way off, I love that right there. It says, but when he was still a great way off, his father saw him. What does that mean? When he was still a great way off, his father saw him. That means his daddy was looking for him. He was waiting on him. Even though it hurted him that he had to, he had to let his son go. He had to step back a little bit. He said, man, my son doing some things and I, I know I raised him right. I'm trying to provide for him, but I got to I gotta step back a little bit. I got to let him kind of do this thing on his own, but I'm going to be here for him. And so as his son went out and did all this stuff that he did, and when his son decided to come back home, he said, e the Bible says, even when he was still a great way off, his father saw him had compassion on him, ran and fell on his neck and kissed him. Come on, man. Humility. Remember, y'all, we're still on the subject. We're talking about this is what happens. This is what happens when you humble yourself. When you humble yourself, man, it, it puts you in a position where you can receive the blessings that are, that are going to come to you once you humble yourself. The Bible says, humble yourself in the sight of the Lord. We went over this last, last week in James chapter 4. Humble yourself in the sight of the Lord and he will lift you up. I'm telling you, a lot of us got some things going on, man, and we got we to gotta step back, man. We got to get out of pride and we got to step into humility. We got to get out of our pride. We got to step into humility. And once we step into to our, our humble place, God will deal with the guilt and the shame that's been weighing and tormenting some of us, man, holding us down, man. But listen, don't take my word for it. Get into the word for yourself. That is Luke chapter 15. Uh, this morning we read verses 17, 17 through 20. And when you read your word, man, jump in that comment box and say, I read my word. I love y'all. God bless you. Shout out to each and every single one of y'all. Thank y'all for lo logging on. Y'all remember, man, faith over fear. God over everything. Together we have made love great again because love has never, nor will it ever lose its power. It just lost its popularity. I love y'all. God bless you. If y'all don't mind, I see a lot of y'all did this morning. If y'all don't mind, y'all hit that share button, man. Get the message out to as many people as possible. God bless each and every single one of y'all. I say a special prayer this morning to you, man, for those who are going through, because I know it's a lot of people going through right now. A lot of people, man. It's, it's, it's been, it's, it's really, it's really difficult and trying times right now, but we need God more than ever. So that's my word, man. Y'all lock in, y'all get into your word. Ask God to reveal to you the secrets and the revelations in his word so that you will be able to apply them to your life. I love y'all, God. Bless you. Signing out, baby. It's morning time. It is morning time. I love y'all. I'll catch y'all on the next go round.